Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today reviewing HRB. This was the trade of the day call in the trading room, which was a bullish call, actually, yesterday and Wednesday, and it worked in the morning and held pretty well, considering the market fall that happened in the afternoon from the Fed meeting on Wednesday. But this was a really good bullish gap. It's so rare that I look at anything that's gapping to the upside and say, this is really good. I talked about it in the trading room in the morning, called an aggressive entry in it for people that wanted to go long yesterday. It did work, ran up to the number, and it's following through today. So this just once again confirms with a confirmation of the follow through today that this was an excellent gap. So let's just review it and go over it. Long and short of it is, when I saw the gap yesterday, I realized, wow, this is a corrective gap. That's something that I teach in the trends course. How to determine that a gap is a corrective gap. What does that mean? It means it's changing the trend of the stock. So for in other words, HRB is now in an uptrend and was immediately after yesterday's bullish gap up. And that is also why it worked yesterday and why it's falling through today and actually it looks like it could potentially get over the high of yesterday's bar. And if it does, it could fly. $30 was a target. I mean, this could go so many different places here now. This is a very, very good swing trade long, longer term long. It's a nice solid trade in here. So we'll see where it goes from here. If you want to learn how to read long term trends, which a lot of people get wrong, okay? People think things that are in downtrends and they're not. People think things are in uptrends and they're downtrends. Very often I find the most critical error that people make is they think things are backing up in uptrends and they're not. They're still in a downtrend. In the case of HRB, this is in an uptrend now. Um, it's definitely higher from here from since yesterday's corrective gap. But I think it is really important to understand how to read long-term trends correctly before you go overnight in a trade, whether a swing trade or an option trade. And one of the things is people look at moving averages and they will say, oh, well, that's in an uptrend or that's in a downtrend if the moving averages are pointing down or up. And that is not the right way to make long-term trend-based decisions. You read the gap, you rate the gap. So I teach more about this in the trends class, which is June 27th to 28th. If you'd like more information to sign up for that, if you do long-term overnight trades, or if you want to improve your day trading skills to better learn how to read day trades better, then email me at melissa at the stock and have a great week, everyone.